It is 8, 8 a.m., 8 hours into the day of Tuesday, October 27th, 2020. We're approaching uh, November 3rd, the election, the U.S. US uh, election. I've already voted uh, by absentee mail. I point, pointed out to a friend that uh, uh, voting by email can be pretty secure because there is a way to trace the actual steps that the, uh, the email takes, and there's a way to determine whether or not it's fraudulent. Uh, the electronic record is pretty solid. This is why email is actually a legal document. Uh, not only companies, but well, well, the government. Not only the I should say, not only the government, but even companies are required to keep their emails because they are a trace of, uh, 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 of, of activity that could be used in a court of law. So destroying email, getting rid of email improperly, could land you in a lot of hot water because it is just, it is equivalent to destroying evidence. If you knowingly destroy evidence, and this was the whole issue with the, the email servers with uh, Hillary Clinton, if you knowingly destroy email, that's a criminal offense. But, uh, of course, that's Hillary Clinton and the Democrats, and uh, the, minions, uh, the, the minions don't really seem to care, so uh, she gets away with it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> this is, this is uh, kind of how things are. You, can't, you kind of exist in this sort of... Uh, Everyone exists in the swamp to one degree or another. Uh, governments are part, primarily parasites. Uh, they feed off the good people, and they get that's, they, they get rich and they get powerful. And uh, 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 I said I have a friend. Uh, you know, he did the politician thing, and uh, when he was asked to leave because they wanted the seat for somebody else. Uh, they gave him a multi-million dollar corporation, set everything up, paid for everything. Of course, they used the tax, they use taxpayer dollar to do that, but they basically paid the guy off. I know, I mean, in, in in socialist countries, that's what happens. A lot of companies are set up uh, because they're given to people who are friends of the party. This is the whole issue with Trashendo. He's always giving money to his friends. Who who are his friends? His corporate buddies. And they say, oh, 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 no, it can't be Trudeau. He's not doing that. Well, it's always been doing that. If you look at the history and his record, it's what happens. The minions just either don't know about this or don't care that he is doing the corporate thing just the way, you know, they accuse the uh, conservatives of doing that. Not that I'm a fan of the conservatives that much either, but they have, you know, they have their own particular issues. It's, again, it's always this whole thing. But, but again, people who are in government uh, tend to... Be, Oh. tend to believe that they are something special and they have a right to your money. And actually, they go to the point where they call it their money. And so, uh, if you don't pay up in terms of your taxes, you are a tax cheat. But then how? if I didn't create the debt, and they create an enormous amount of debt, how is it my responsibility? If you're an independent individual person in democracy, and this is what happens, democracy, democracy exists in two forms. European form is a form of, of uh, social imperialism. You elect the king, you elect the leader. The American democracy was designed to be an individualist uh, democracy where the individual was sovereign. We are the sovereign, we are the government. The government of the people, by the people, for the people. It's not that way in socialism. And what's happened, uh, oh, oh, even though we have dead soldiers uh, in the ground who fought for the ideals of freedom, uh, that hasn't been respected by the socialists, by, by these so called people who are, they, they call themselves progressives. They be, view that the, the way to progress is to burn in the entire society down burn the past and build on the ashes, uh, you know, build their future on the ashes uh, of the conflict that was before. And this is what you see them doing all the time, destroying this, destroying that. That's the history of socialism. He doesn't have to be, oh, this is something, no, it's not something new. It's not something that, that just was invented. 
this has always been going on. This is the way socialism emerges. And I think anarchists, we are anti-establishment. No, you're not. You're not anti-establishment. You are establishment. You are the tools of establishment to change from one set of elite people to another set of elite people. This is how it works. You have one elite, one elite pe group in power, and they want to take. And there's another group that wants to take over. How do they do it? They bring out the anarchists. Like, We're anti-establishment. They take down that group. The, the group that's on the left hand, and they bring up the group that's on the right hand. This is the matrix. If we want, what is the matrix? Well, the matrix is uh, the left and right battling each other out uh, for who, uh, the elites, for who is going to control what. It's not about the people. It's never been about the people. Of course, they say this on the news and, you know, in, in the history books, they make things look really nice. But the reality is it's not about the people. It's about themselves. Well, my bad head leaves a lot to be desired. Anyways, it is uh, 13 hours and 3 minutes into the day of Tuesday, October 27th, and it's time for an unpackaging. I had opened the video earlier today, but I didn't necessarily state that I opened it. So that was the first segment that I that you're see that you have already seen now. Uh, on to the second. It's the unpackaging. So I'm gonna, gonna try to get this open. But there's a fair amount of packing tape around it. There we go. Well, it's a box. So, <laughs> see, we got we have a box here. This is the package. We should have done. It should have opened it sufficiently to pull the package off, but not coming. Oh, I know what it is. It's a network upgrade. Well, this is it. This is the product. Let's hold the product here like this. I, now that I realize that there is a glare. There we go. That's the uh, best way of seeing the package here. This does both uh, forms of uh, Wi-Fi, Wi -Fi, including 5G. It's got the right plug on it. There you go, there's the right plug. Uh, American plug. It has both uh, the 2.4 and the um, 5 gigahertz. So, nice, fits well in the box. <clears throat> it's got the instructions including how to log in because the, the, sometimes they, they always change up the login sometimes I don't I find that sometimes there's, there's no consistency 
in the initial login before, uh, before we start this up. Uh, what I typically do when I run these is uh, they've got uh, RJ45 jacks, uh, and I use those. I use that because uh, it gives me a good uh, connection, a good solid connection. A wire connection is typically better than uh, Wi-Fi, particularly when you're looking at uh, Internet speeds. You're looking at this primarily for Internet connections uh, and uh, because we're not uh, – we're typically – under 100 megabits per second, so uh, the uh, the actual uh, speed above there doesn't necessarily matter, so as long as you're doing 100 meg megabits per second, you're doing well. So, this is, this is what came in. This is the packaging for today. The unboxing for today. Well, it's not that much later. So it's uh, it's uh, 17 hours and 35 minutes into the day of uh, Tuesday, October 27th. That means it's about just about 5:30 in the afternoon. And another package came in. I was sleeping while it came in, but uh, nonetheless, it's here. I'm gonna need uh, scissors to start it, anyways. I might know what this is. It's something that was it's something that I ordered a long time ago, but never really showed up. Ah, uh, yeah, microphones. I can finally show you because I've got extra of them. What do I use on my phones as a microphone to record? Well, not the micro, not the uh, phones microphones. I use. Let me get it out of the bag. I use this. Unexpectedly cheap. I think I paid for both of them. I paid three dollars for both. I got two of them. So this is it here. Three dollars for this. And it does an excellent job. I didn't think it was going to do an excellent job, but it did, and it does. So I'm happy for that. And yay for this. It does an excellent job. Nice. Just attach it to uh, the uh, system I've got set up here for to doing for doing a live broadcast. So I've got that, and I've got another phone coming in for filming. So this will be for that. But otherwise, yay! I'm happy because I've got now I've got uh, the one on the uh, the one on the on the that's on the phone right now that I'm filming with. I've got another camera that's coming in that does. It has a higher resolution uh, than what I have now, but this is good enough. And that will be for this. So, uh, I didn't think this was going to come in. This is something that, well, well, I lost three bucks. <laughs> uh, on average, every, every, everything's come in. I think I, I've got a, had a 98% success uh, with, uh, with, 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 oh, with the ordering system I have in terms of the supplies and, and where they come from in terms of a deep discount, and so I keep ordering more. While we are on 
it's Wednesday, October 28th, actually. That's what I noticed. It is uh, just uh, five hours and two minutes into the day. That means it's five o'clock in the morning. And we're closing out our video for um, Tuesday. Remembering the days is kind of a chore, but I am doing it. I am making an effort to remember the days. It's good practice for the month. For the mind to sort of maintain, even though you are kind of off your schedule. Right now we're off the schedule again. Uh, notice that we're ending the vlog at 5 o'clock in the morning. So we're, we're kind of somewhat in the schedule, but kind of in a bizarre situation. Because uh, in terms of being a little off, because I'm not ending the vlog in the front research desk. Which was the main research desk. Now it's no longer the main research desk, because... I'm back here as well. This is a research desk as well. The media room is now a research desk. So it's the media room research desk. Uh, and what happened is that I, I began... Um, I began doing the gaming and meditation at 2.30. Finished around 3.34. Cool. Oh. Came back here and uh, began on the YouTube stroll. Near the end of the YouTube stroll at uh, Our Family Nest, I tested the new microphones that came in earlier today. It sounds great, so I've now got an expanded vlogging setup. Uh, I have, uh, I have uh, one live with the microphone on it. I have this vlogging camera now with the microphone on it. And I have a second one coming in for uh, other videos this this uh, main device handles all of our our life as cyborg alpha alpha, and because it's a daily vlog, it's it's very memory intense. I've been able to find a way to offload uh, a large chunk of the videos that are piling up on the hard drive. I've got a way to get them off now. Uh, it just it, it it takes a while to sort of figure out how to configure all these different things. So another camera's coming in uh, that will handle uh, basically other videos that I want to film for other other the other channels that are on the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network, and so that's what's going to happen. Is the the other videos are not going to be daily; they're going to be weekly and bi-weekly. So the uh, the intensity and the uh, uh, the memory requirements won't the storage requirements won't won't be there. Uh, in November, I'll be, and this is what I'm sort of working on now, working on a plan in the next couple of weeks, uh, probably the next two weeks, uh, to begin upgrading the music room. That will be the final move uh, for me to go back live again uh, in uh, February. Uh, the university courses will start up again. It's uh, not necess It's not a course that's <coughs> a standard university course. Uh, this is a look into how research is done. It's called source sampling. And this is how, if, if you're a researcher, how you go out and you sample your sources. And rather than giving you a fictitious uh, sort of perspective, this is something that is done. I'm actually doing the research. I'm actually going into and explaining what a deep dive is, explaining how, in many cases, you, you start off very shallow. You start off with very simple sources, and then you work your way in as you start uh, developing a better and better understanding. In other words, as your understanding evolves, uh, so does uh, the level of research that you do, the, 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 the depth of research. So a person who does a deep dive has had, a lot of ex has had enough experience that now they're going in for something more significant. You still don't know what you're going to get. It's still pretty much random, but at the same time, you do have a better idea of what you're looking at. And this is kind of what the whole thing is, is that even with my dreams, uh, the, the research is getting better in there. And I'm definitely, I'm definitely at a new plateau. I'm definitely in a new area that I've never been in before. So there's a lot to really sort of understand. And this is what's been causing a lot of sleep deprivation is that... Um, a lot of the dreams are very intense, and it throws my uh, sense of system off uh, to a point where uh, 
the schedule itself swings around very wildly. So when I'm awake and when I'm asleep, asleep is, is, is in many cases at this point in time random. I have no idea when I'm going to be awake or when I'm going to be asleep. And that makes it very difficult for the body to uh, adjust its sleep cycle so that it knows when to be awake and when to be asleep. Because that's what, the, the physiology of, of sleep is that your body goes to sleep and, and does this thing it, that, that needs to do while you're sleeping. And that's a lot of your growth, a lot of the repair work the body needs to get done occurs while you're sleeping. But if your, bo if your sleep schedule is off and the body starts to sense this in its, it's called the circadian rhythm, uh, what ends up happen what ends up happening is your body gets into a state of confusion where it doesn't know whether it's supposed to be awake or asleep and this causes uh, sort of issues that evolve into sleep deprivation and can cause you to crash very often the sleep deprivation crashes that that basically the body runs out of energy it says you're going to sleep now and that's what sleep sleep deprivation crashes it is an immediate need for sleep. It is your body going into emergency mode and saying, we're shutting down. Anyways, uh, that's it for uh, uh, this, uh, this vlog. Uh, and we'll see you in a couple hours for the next vlog.